Let's talk about how to figure out a multiplication product um, using partial products. You'll notice in the word partial we have the word part and literally that is what we're going to do. We're going to break our product um, into parts. Okay, So let's start with 24 times 3. If you uh, look at a rectangle we know uh, that it can represent a multiplication problem. If the length was 24 and the width was 3, we would know that all of this area would be the product of 24 times 3. So what we're going to do here, instead of using 24, we're going to break it into tens and ones. So we're going to use 20 plus 4 to break it down into smaller parts. And this part over here can stay 3. So we're going to separate this rectangle into two smaller rectangles. So to find the area of the first rectangle, uh, this rectangle here, it's a 20 by 3 rectangle. So 20 times 3. Well, I know how to multiply by multiples of 10. I know I can easily say 3 times 2 is 6, and I can't forget to add this 0. So I know that the area of this rectangle is 60, but now I still have one more rectangle to look at. It's this one over here, and it is 4 by 3, so 4 times 3. And I know from knowing my facts that 4 times 3 is 12, so the area of this rectangle is 12. Now I've broken this 24 times 3 into two smaller parts, so I just need to add the two parts, the 60 plus 12, and I get 72, so I know that 24 times 3 equals 72. Let's try another problem, 32 times 5. So I'm making my large rectangle, and I know that this would be 30 plus 2, because I'm breaking down that large number, and this side would be 5. I'm going to draw it into two rectangles so I can get started. On uh, the first rectangle, this one here, it is 30 by 5. 30 times 5 is 150. Now I move to the second part of my rectangle, and it is 2 by 5. So 2 times 5, which equals 10. Now my last step is just to add the partial products together, 150 plus 10, and I know that is 160. So the answer, the product of 32 times 5 is 160. Let's try one more together, starting with my rectangle. I'm going to break up the 45 into 40 plus 5. And this side is 2. So for the first uh, part of my rectangle, this rectangle here, it's 40 by 2. I know that 40 times 2 is 80. Now I need to look at the second rectangle here. And it is 5 by 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. So all I need to do is add up these uh, products here, 80 plus 10, and I know that's 90. So the answer to 45 times 2 is 90. Okay, now you can try one on your own at home. Try 63 times 5 and try using uh, the model uh, that we draw to show our partial products.